assalamu alaikum students in this video we will learn that how we can create portfolios by using two securities since the early 16th century a quotation don't put all your eggs in one basket has become a valuable symbol for explaining the ways to manage your investment risk if you invest if you keep all your assets at one place these can be lost so you need to keep assets at different places the same concept is applied in finance there are many well known theories like markowitz theory that argue that you should invest in multiple assets that will minimize the risk associated with these investments so we will create portfolios to minimize our investment risk for portfolio development one of the basic calculation is the calculation of covariance covariance is a statistical measure of how two assets move in relation to each other a positive covariance indicates that two assets move in same direction a negative covariance indicate that two assets move in opposite direction covariance can be used to maximize diversification in portfolio of the assets by adding assets with negative covariance to a portfolio the overall risk is quickly reduced so we will try to find out assets whose relationship or covariance is negative and uh, we can compute covariance by uh, using these formulas after computing covariance and selecting assets that having negative covariance the next step is to calculate weight of the portfolios the weight of the portfolios can be computed by using this formula this formula helps us to create a portfolio that is efficient portfolio mean variant efficient portfolio whose return and risk relationship is the best among the all other portfolios it can be noted that this formula can only be used for two assets after computing weights the next calculation is calculation of portfolio returns the portfolio return is the weighted average return of individual companies and uh, it it can be computed by multiplying weights of individual securities with their returns after computing returns the next calculation is portfolio risk and uh, this formula will be used to measure the portfolio risk and the last calculation is coefficient of variation that is standard deviation of the portfolio divided by the expected return on the portfolio by doing all these calculation our objective is to create an efficient portfolios and an efficient portfolio is one which offers higher expected return at a same level of risk or offers same level of risk at the higher expected return now we will move to microsoft excel sheet and actually compute covariance correlation coefficient weights and so on now we are moving toward uh, creating portfolios and i will write here portfolio 1 portfolio 2 and portfolio 3 portfolio 1 will be between mlcf and nml portfolio 2 will be between mlcf and shsml portfolio 3 will be between nml and shsml Firstly, we will create covariance between portfolios, and the formula for the covariance is so. I will write here covariance, covariance, and equal to sign, then covariance dot p star bracket, and select. MLCF share prices, comma, and NML share prices. Similarly, for portfolio two, I will press equal to sign. 
covariance dot p bracket start mlcf share prices comma and shsml share prices the same procedure will be followed for third third portfolio equal to sign covariance dot p bracket start and uh, nml comma shsml and from the covariance calculation it is clear that a portfolio between portfolio 2 and portfolio 3 have negative correlation so these will be a good portfolios now we will calculate correlation coefficient of these portfolios for correlation coefficient i will press equal to sign bracket and then covariance between uh, covariance of the first portfolio divided by standard deviation of first company multiplied by standard deviation of the second company similarly i will perform correlation coefficient on second portfolio covariance divided by standard deviation of uh, mlcf and standard deviation of shsml and in the last step i will compute this by third portfolio is equal to covariance divided by standard deviation of first company and multiply by standard deviation of second company bracket close and uh, here are the correlation coefficient values the value of the correlation coefficient can be between plus 1 to minus 1 a value close to or near to minus 1 is more preferable so according to this calculation the portfolio second will be the best portfolio but for calculations uh, to understand uh, the whole steps i will create portfolios based on all companies the formula to compute weights of the portfolio is uh, this one and uh, by using this formula we will compute weight of each portfolio it it should be remembered that we are working on two assets portfolio and this formula is only applied if we have two assets in our portfolio so i will compute weight of mlcf in the portfolio equal to bracket uh, start variance of the ml nml minus covariance ab divided by variance of a plus variance of b minus again brackets are 2 into covariance ab and bracket close so i got answer that our weight of portfolio will be 38.37 percent i will round this calculation by writing here round bracket start and uh, comma to 38 and for nml i will simply 1 minus weight of other security and we got 0 0.62 that will be weight of nml similarly in other portfolio <coughs> equal to variance of uh, nml uh, sorry shsml minus covariance ab divided by 
वेरियंस ऑफ फर्स्ट सिक्योरिटी प्लस वेरियंस ऑफ सेकेंड सिक्योरिटी माइनस टू माइनस ब्रैकेट साठ टू इंटू को वेरियंस ए बी Similarly, I will round this calculation by using round function. Round bracket start, comma two, and zero point eight seven and one minus weight of first security, so we get got thirteen percent. Same calculation will be applied on third portfolio equal to. ब्रैकेट स्टार्ट वेरियंस ऑफ एस एच एम एस एल माइनस को वेरियंस ए बी डिवाइडेड बाई वेरियंस ऑफ फर्स्ट सिक्योरिटी प्लस वेरियंस ऑफ सेकेंड सिक्योरिटी माइनस टू माइनस ब्रैकेट स्टार्ट टू इन टू वेरियंस ए बी ब्रैकेट क्लोज सेंड राउंड कॉमा टू एंड फॉर अदर सिक्योरिटी वन माइनस वेट ऑफ फर्स्ट सिक्योरिटी सो वी गे गॉट वेट फॉर ऑल आवर पोर्टफोलियोज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इन पोर्टफोलियो डेवलपमेंट इज टू कैलकुलेट रिटर्न ऑन द पोर्टफोलियो एंड द फार्मूला फॉर द रिटर्न ऑफ पोर्टफोलियो इट इज and i will write here r capital and p small uh, to show portfolio return equal to bracket start weight of first security into expected return of first security plus weight of second security into expected return of second security expected return means arithmetic mean and we got a return of the portfolio similarly i will write here equal to sign weight of first security into expected return on first security plus weight of second security into expected return on second security and in the third security weight of first security into expected return of first security plus weight of second security into expected return of second security and we give, got the portfolio return of uh, all portfolios our uh, three portfolios the next calculation is of portfolio risk and uh, i will write here var is equal to that is symbol of our variance for variance i will write here equal to sign bracket start variance of the company plus into weight of first company square bracket start plus variance of the second company into weight Square of the second company plus bracket star two into weight of A into weight of B into covariance AB and bracket close. Next for the second portfolio, the variance will be bracket star. Variance of the company multiply by weight square plus variance of the second company into weight square plus two into weight of A into weight of B into covariance AB. and for the third company again variance of first company into 
weight of first company weight square plus variance of the second company into weight square of the second company plus 2 into weight of A into weight of B into covariance AB and that's all uh, we got variance of the portfolio and the standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance I will write S equal to SQRT and select variance of the company and uh, we will got our answer similarly I will use square root of the others and I will compute standard deviation of the company the last calculation in this step is the calculation of coefficient of variation CV and we know that the CV is equal to standard deviation of the portfolio divided by return on the portfolio so, uh, so I will write here standard deviation divided by return on the portfolio and I will copy same calculation in our cells so if we see that uh, for our first po portfolio if our return is one unit we will have 0 0.89 risk and for the second portfolio for one unit or unit of return we will have 0 0.74 risk and for the third portfolio for one unit of return our risk will be 0 0.72 and that's the lowest level from the coefficient of variation we can conclude that if the asset has minus covariance then its risk will be minimized and there will be no such differences in the return of the portfolios the decrease in the risk of the portfolio is due to diversification that is measured by covariance and our Calculation of covariance shows that portfolio 2 and portfolio 3 are diversified portfolios as their covariance is negative and the coefficient of variation confirms that portfolio 2 and portfolio 3, 3 are better option as compared to portfolio 1 where the covariance was positive. So to create efficient portfolios we will try to find securities or assets who have negative covariance or correlation coefficients if you have any question you can write in the comment section of the video and uh, I will try my best to answer uh, on timely basis thank you students Allah Hafiz